Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I'm going to share something with you because I learned some information the other day. A little while ago I produced a video on my three-year lived experience with the Clark's Original Desert Boot. And I absolutely love those boots functional utility boots which I've worn throughout my adult life. However, after I produced that video, a viewer wrote to me and said, love the video, but you do realize, of course, that the Clark's original desert boot has its origins in the South Africa Veldscone type of footwear. I hold my hands up. I had never heard of that. I've never been on my travels around the world to the continent of Africa. So I'd never heard of the Veldscone. In fact, the Veldscone is so well used and known in South Africa that people refer to them as their vellies, like we call Wellington boots wellies in this country. So the vellies are something which practically everybody owns and they use for when they go out for a walk into the countryside or whatever. So I learned this new bit of information. And being a person who absorbs style information like a sponge, I wanted to dive straight in and learn more. So I did a bit of research. I discovered that the Veldscone boot, actually Veldscone, direct translation is field shoe. So it gives you an idea of what this is all about. It traces its origin stories way back 400 years or so to when the Dutch settlers arrived in the South Africa area. However, you can trace it even further back if you want to, because it's believed that some of these sort of indigenous peoples who lived in the Southern African area, at least, would have been wearers of quite simple, as I say, utilitarian footwear made from the hide of a single animal, and that's where the Veldscone has its origin story. Uh, so, you know, quite uh, a bit of heritage here in this footwear. Now, when you look at a Veldscone boot, as I have here, um, you initially think to yourself, it's a desert boot. This has a striking similarity to what I, I have one here, what I have thought of as a desert boot almost all of my adult life. There is something of a family resemblance. And there is, of course, as you can imagine, a very good reason for that. Because if you remember the Clark's desert boot story, it goes back to Nathan Clark, member of the Clark's shoemaking family, who was in Africa and the Far East fighting during the Second World War, when it is said that he saw people wearing uh, what later transpired in his story to become the desert boot. Well, now we can look back and say with an element of certainty that when he first saw those desert boots, as he called them, uh, they were most likely on the feet of South African officers who were wearing their Veldscones. And this perhaps is the true origin story of what has become really the most famous, most mass produced, most common chucker boot in the world, the Clark's original desert boot. So the Veldscone offers or, or delivers to the world this very iconic type of footwear way back and, and still impacting on us who wear them today. So the story goes, it's a bit like this, the modern Veldscone that I have here, the story goes that there were two South African um, businessmen, entrepreneurs, who were sat together watching the opening ceremony for the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. And when at the beginning, all the athletes come marching out, don't they, you know, in their, in their various countries, nationalities. And these two South African gents, they look at the athletes from South Africa and they say to themselves, wow, the clothing they're wearing is not very inspirational. And then they start to have a conversation. Well, how would we clothe athletes to give uh, a sense of South Africa? And between them, they said, well, you know, the one thing they'd have to wear would be Veldscone shoes because this type of footwear, boot, shoe, whatever you want to call them, they are definitely emblematic of South Africa. Going back, of course, heritage-wise, when they would have been worn by the indigenous peoples and then later the European settlers. And now it is firmly embedded in to the cultural iconography of South Africa. So these two chaps, they think to themselves, yeah, we definitely go for the Veldscone style footwear on our fictional dress for these athletes to show a bit of a national dress. And then they think to themselves, being entrepreneurs, well, 
perhaps we can manufacture this footwear. They actually, by a stroke of luck, they looked into it and discovered that even though this type of footwear has been called Veldscone for hundreds of years, nobody had ever trademarked that identity, that brand. So they went out and they trademarked Veldscone. Uh, 2016, let's roll it forward a couple of years, um, they then start producing them and they have this internet shop making the Veldscone boot. And I actually reached out to Veldscone, the brand, and said, look, um, and I explained my story. Somebody had written to me uh, asking me to, you know, delve deeper into the origin story of the desert boot. I've come to Velscone and actually I'm very grateful to them. They sent me uh, a pair of Velscone boots to demonstrate to you, if you want to call it that. But also they sent me a pair of one of their other products, which I will talk about briefly towards the end. But this is what arrived through my door. And this is where they started to build the Velscone story. Now, other important things it's worth knowing. All Velscone Velscone boots are made in South Africa by South Africans. That was very important to the two founders. South Africa, whilst it is without doubt the uh, wealthiest nation in, on the continent of Africa, it's still a country not without its troubles. And I believe it has something like 30% unemployment rate in South Africa. So it's really important for these businessmen that when they create this endeavor, that they want it to be something which is beneficial to South Africa. So South Africans make the footwear and the, the actual components, the parts are all of South African origin as well. And I think that's invaluable inf information as, you know, as somebody who's an ethical purchaser of the products which I wear, uh, you know, it's very important. Also, important to know, this new version of Velscon, I say new, the, the sort of trademarked version, um, these were sent to me, but they're available to anybody anywhere in the world. Uh, they cost 109 British pounds, free shipping to the UK. A very approachable price indeed. So I was fascinated to learn more. Uh, and actually when they sent them to me, um, I started wearing them immediately. Now that was about five or six weeks ago. Already I've been wearing these boots for well over five or six weeks. And I have to tell you, from the get-go, straight out of the box, they were very, very comfortable indeed. More so than my good old friends, the Clark's Original Desert Boot, which I have to admit, whilst I've had them for three years, they took a bit of wearing in. They required a bit more effort to make them comfortable. So let me tell you a little bit about what I'm holding here in my hands. So the Velscone, as I said before, bears more than a mere passing resemblance to the good old desert boot, but it is in essence a very simple piece of footwear, constructed, as I can see in my hand, from just two separate pieces of hide or leather. Now, the, the, the modern iteration that this Velscone comes from, you know, you are able to buy them in different materials. Um, you can have the different, uh, different coloured soles, depending on what your own personal style and preferences. I went for the rather conservative black sole, and it comes with black laces. You can have orange, green, blue, and they come with a corresponding colour of shoelace. So you can jazz them up a little if that's your preference. But I went for rather conservative because I intend to wear them, you know, with a broad variety of clothing. But in my case, I have a, a simple suede upper and yeah, it is, well, to a degree, virtually identical to the Clark's original desert boot. Although I might go as far as to say I'm sensing a slight preference in the type of suede which I'm feeling here on the Veld scone. Bearing in mind my desert boot here from Clark's, I've had uh, for something like three years and worn them rather hard. Uh, so the upper, quite straightforward. It's unlined in the, uh, the upper. So again, similar to the Clark's, you've got nice comfort and it's not too heavy on the foot. It's quite a soft, light utility boot, but with that very hard wearing and strong suede upper. Uh, two eyelets in the Derby style fastening on top. So again, making it very easy to put on and off the foot. Underneath is where the differences begin because on the old Clark's Desert boot, we have uh, a crepe sole, which is coagulated latex. On our good friend, the Veldscone here, what we have is a textured PVC, so a plastic rubbery composite, which makes it a little bit more rugged and hard wearing, I would hazard a guess, than my good friend here, the crepe. So, and it's a bit more rugged and wearable because whereas the crepe is rather slick on wet um, surfaces, 
because of the textured ridge underneath here on this PVC, it gives you a lot better traction and purchase on more varied uh, sort of undulating ground or wet ground or slippery ground. It's also got a, bit, got a bit more of a heel, so it's more of a natural stance I have found. Very uh, broad, nice, comfortable fitting. The interior, it's quite padded actually, more so than I found with my Clark's Desert Boot. So I didn't intend this to be a comparison between my Desert Boot and the Veldscone, but as they have such a close familiar history, I think it's valuable to sort of weigh them up against each other. So what I can say about the Veldscone is that it is so comfortable, more comfortable than any of my other uh, trucker boots or desert boots that I've had before. Within no time at all, uh, I was able to wear it for quite long walks. I go for quite long multiple mile walks on a daily basis as part of my keep, keep fit and healthy regime. And these have become my go-to in you know the summer autumn period before it gets really wet and grimy out there. So I've been very, very happy indeed with these. And not to draw that comparison yet again, as I said, £109 gives you an idea of where we are. For a shoe which is made in South Africa by South Africans, and it's got a little South African sort of flag tab at the back, it's clearly trading on its South African heritage. If I was to compare it yet again, unfortunately, to my friend the Desert Boot here, now this Clark's original Desert Boot is often thought of as this most British of products. It's actually made in Vietnam, this example, and um, it cost 120 British pounds. So I have to say, I, I'm kind of been converted. Having been somebody who has worn the Clark's Desert Boot for the, the majority of my adult life, these new South African origin Veldscone field shoes I've really, really come round to them. They occupy the same aesthetic, so you can wear them, you know, with chinos, as I have been today, or you could wear them, you know, with your jeans or even with shorts. In fact, you will note that they are slightly lower in profile than the Desert Boot, so they're even more wearable than uh, the Desert Boot with, say, things like shorts. A very chameleon pair of shoes, boots, trucker boots, whatever you want to call them, for introduce, uh, introduction into your wardrobe at a very approachable price point, I have to say. Now, they did also send me, interestingly, um, because I'm sure they're trying to promote the brand, they're a relatively new entity, as you can imagine, but they also sent me a pair of what they refer to as their smart shoes, and it is just a sort of slightly different variation of the Veldscone, but in a shoe version and made of a leather product rather than suede. And whilst they are referring to it as a smart shoe, I have to say um, their idea of smart and mind diverge somewhat clearly in the design of these shoes. They are not what I would describe as smart. I would perhaps consider them in the same situation as the Veldscone boot type, uh, I wouldn't be wearing these with sort of formal clothing under any circumstances, but they may be something you could consider if you were, say, somebody who works in the outdoors. Maybe you're a, 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 a ranger or a game warden or somebody who has to go out on sort of slightly more rugged ground and you don't want to wear a pair of nice Crockett and Jones brogues. This might be an alternative as a smarter version than, say, you know, approach shoes or something like that. Everything I've said about the Velscone boot is evident here. Same soles, same rugged stitched down construction. Everything's the same, but it's a lower cut shoe. Actually, it's the same price. It's £109 with free delivery over £60 from Velscone who also actually um, make a range of other boots and footwear. They are certainly an up and coming entity down there in South Africa who are making their boots with a, quite an ethical approach. Uh, and ultimately they're making boots which people enjoy wearing. And I have to tell you, I've been converted. And that's quite a thing because I've been wearing the Clark's Desert boot now for 40 years. Yet I've been wearing these for five weeks and I can already tell you They've dragged me over to their side of the house because they are more comfortable, they are cheaper, and they are comparative in their construction, and they've got a slightly more ethical approach to the manufacturing process in so much as they're authentic. They're unashamedly South African, they're made in South Africa, 
of South African materials uh, by South Africans. So, you know, it's a win-win for me. So there we go. I'm so pleased that the viewer wrote in and brought that to my attention because it has opened my eyes to a product I had never heard of before and today I've been able to share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, click the old subscribe button. If you want to point something out to me which you think you are aware of that would be worth sharing with other people, let me know. Drop it into the comment section, send me an email either Either way will get through to me. I'll be delighted to learn more, research, and share with other people. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee or become a patron. And I make additional videos for my patrons, and we've got a different dialogue going over there on my patron channel. And the links to all of that are in the show notes below. So, until the next time, I'm going to put my velscone on and trample the hills and vales of southern England. And wherever you live, well, consider if they may be a part of your wardrobe in the future too. Until the next time, take care, and I will see you again very soon.